Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. I'm Hearst Quasar. Thank you for dropping by. Um, today we are back in our Quasar's Customs, my humble home away from home. And we are playing Car Mechanic Simulator 2018. In our last episode we created or rebuilt the Matrix Continental, Lincoln Continental. And uh, as I told you in the last, in that video, um, these exhaust pipes needed uh, a little bit of tweaking, and so I did that. So, yeah, this thing, I'll just, you know, I love how the, the the trunk opens up that way, the hood opens up that way, the doors, you know, all kind of funky. I really liked, I liked putting this car together. So, with uh, that in mind, thinking Keanu Reeves in The Matrix, being Neo, uh, what about John Wick? That's right. I think we have a John Wick Mustang sitting on our stand here. And, hey, let's just get right to it. So, John Wick. Movie came out in, like, 2014. And uh, I will be honest with you. I never got to see the first movie. But I do have the... You know enough background on it to to know what the movie was about so you know he loses his wife he's he's an assassin one he loses his wife and um, I think after she dies um, he's given a dog you know a puppy and this this puppy is you know he cherishes this puppy because it was her gift to him right well and then you have these Russian idiots that come along and um, they end up stealing this car and um, end up killing his dog. So, unfortunately, if you're uh, you know, a big pet lover, I would not go see this movie. It's kind of a tearjerker having a pet die like that. But, uh, yeah, so, you know, he's an assassin. He's a, he's a badass. He's got tats everywhere. So he goes after these guys. So, yeah, I've got the premise of that movie. Now, Believe it or not, I have seen John Wick 2 and John Wick 3. So, you know, it's quite comical that I didn't see the first one. I just, I, I you know, and I just haven't had a chance or didn't, don't think about, you know, watching it. And I do plan to watch it eventually. And I, I may even pick it up on Blu-ray or DVD, all three of them. And, you know, as I was looking through, you know, trying to find some pictures of this Mustang, I did find out... They are talking about doing a John Wick 4, so if you're a big John Wick fan, hang on to your butts because there's going to be another John Wick movie. They're even talking about another Matrix movie, uh, but um, so it was the oh, what's the brothers? The was the brothers the Wachowski Wachowski brothers? I, I can't pronounce them. Anyway, they are transgendered and now they're sisters. They're both sisters, and they're they are talking about um, kind of either doing a reboot of it or they are talking about um, bringing it back to life. So in like a, an episode four, so that might be interesting too. So uh, looking forward to that, right? Um, and I can't spell fuel up here. What is my problem? So I, I'm going to need that eventually. So I'll pick that up while I'm here. Get the fuel tank. Um, I don't know why I got out of there. Because you know that I know that I'm going to need a couple, at least a couple of drums. Um, let's go ahead and pick those up. Uh, what was I going for? Oh, the fuel fuel pump fuel pump there we go now I did get a little bit of a head start on this because I've got the lower end of the uh, 389 right here um, yeah 389 I know you know like John Wick has like a uh, the four 429 um, and we are using the boss 302 Mustang to complete this build so I am really out of whack with my Mustangs I, I apologize but uh, this is probably the best looking Mustang um, out there for this particular build. So, And if I'm not mistaken, um, this one was uh, created and modded by DeadBob777. So um, hats off to him. He's a big Mustang fan. And um, tell you what, he does an awesome job on these things. The be 
and hands down top quality so if you want a mustang seek out his mustangs on the workshop he's got uh, he's got quite a few of them and they are in awesome awesome shape so as i'm talking to you i am trying to do a couple things at once try to view what i'm going to need and i think i need two of those um and still uh, talk to you guys at the same time as I am trying to uh, put these things together. So, um, don't know if I did a good job of it, but uh, I'm going to find out right now. It's all visual at this point. So, yeah, had seen the first movie, seen, you know, John Wick 2 and uh, John Wick 3. Uh, saw John Wick 3 on my way to Banff, Canada. Um, so enjoyed that movie and I, I tell you what the, just the movies are just action action packed and you know Holly Berry was in the third one and I mean come on Holly Berry yeah no denying no denying she fit the role well so I was happy to see her in that movie um, she can play a badass too so I'm, congrats to her love seeing her in a movie so yeah, um, so we are going to get this Mustang put together. Now it did take me a little while to get some, uh, I have been you know, a little slack between videos, but that's because I've been looking at um, liveries. I've been trying to put uh, a few things together for a few cars, you know, um, when it comes to liveries, you know, it took me a little bit, a little bit to figure out the whole, uh, the AMC Pacer for Wayne's World, but I got it pretty darn close, and um, I'll, I'll go over there after a bit and take a look to see if anyone else has made any comments about it, but uh, uh, I'm sure you're going to have your haters, but hey, if you don't like it, then don't download it. It is available over there, so if you're looking for a livery for that Pacer, it's right there. It is a wrap, so... Um, all you have to do is just paint the car whatever color you want and uh, boom, put that on there and you're good to go. So of all the movies, uh, I will be honest, John Wick 2, that haven't seen the first one, John Wick 2 was really good. was really, really good. Um, John Wick 3 kind of lost me in, in, some of the, in, in some of the stuff that they were talking about in that movie, so... Um, but, I mean, it was action-packed. It was good. Oh, and the fuel filter. I picked that up. Let's go ahead and throw this on this engine. See, I've got part of a build going on over here. And um, I'm going to keep it looking primarily stock. I do have the do have the performance pistons in there and the performance camshaft. So I am going to bring the horsepower up a little bit more in this. Um, just because it's John Wick, man. All right. Rims. We are going straight up Mustang rims on this bad boy. Um, and with the Ford DLC, I am so happy they have these rims. I love these rims. Um, we are going to go 16s on these. Uh, and we're going to go with a white letter tire. We're going to 216. How wide do I want the? F these are the rears. And actually, they're... I mean, this Mustang's got... Doesn't really have a lot of beef underneath of it. If you look at pictures of it, they're they're really um, scrawny tires um, with somewhat of a high profile on them. So um, let's go with the 235. You know, with this Mustang, it, it it deserves a little bit more than this beefy looking tire thing. Um, because it looks silly. And the water letters get, uh, um, let's see here. Um, to 225.60. So, alright, so let's go with a, let's go with a, Two thirty-five. Let's 
go with the 235.50 because I did go up in uh, 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 rim size. Maybe that's what I need to do. Um, that probably looks a little bit better. It doesn't look so much so uh, so much rubber. Even though if you look at his car, there's a whole lot of rubber there, and I think uh, I think these will work out really nice. Um, I need to 50. Thank you. All right, let's uh, dump these tires out and let's dump these rims out because I don't need those anymore. And I'm hoping they fit in there okay. I believe they will. Ooh, pretty Mustang wheels. Pretty, pretty Mustang wheels. Well, you know, it looks really small compared to that one, so we may have to take another look at this. Let me throw some uh, fenders on there and find out what this really looks like, because I have no fenders on this. All right, um, let's jump into the bodywork side of it. Uh, just real quick because I just want to make sure the wheels look okay on it. Um, I did click on that, didn't I? Yeah, all right. Uh, 1969 Mustang. All right, lots of pieces here, lots of pieces. Uh, I mean, heck, I could go ahead and throw everything together, couldn't I? Um... These look tinted. These look tinted. Um, go ahead and get all that. Um, get that bumper. Um, what's the difference between that? Oh, that one has windshield wipers. This one does not. We are sticking with the windshield wipers. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Um, that grill door door because my doors are messed up um, fender stock fender stock fender need the opening in the hood um, regular headlights please oh dear um, I am going to have to check back on the tail lights we are definitely going uh, definitely going black, I believe, in the rear cam shell. Um, there's my fenders, headlight, um, the other mirror, uh, my staying on the trunk. So, I want to believe that. And where's the other one at? That one. I believe those will work on this. Ah, uh, while it's in the air, I might as well throw all these pieces on there. It's kind of... Does that look okay? Looks like it might be all right. Um, rear clamshell. Um, Rear bumper, taillights, trunk. Um, let's take that off. Uh, let's take that off. And, yeah, might as well just do it all up, right? Do that. Do that. Do that. Do that. Kind of doing the body. Kind of. I had to do the body just because. I was afraid um, that clamshell is not working. Okay. Um, that hood. The clamshell. Uh, let's go ahead and take that door off. We are going to give John Wick a truly 100% brand new car. We are not going to repair any of the body pieces on here. We are just going to give it all out. Um, okay, so let's lower this down down a little bit come on lower down um i think those wheels will look all right so i think we will be fine with that okay so we've got all that 
Um, um, I don't like that. So we are going to have to go with um, ab -ab 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 -ab, at this one right here. Which I think I can paint. So front clamshell. Front clamshell B. I am going to assume the first one is a stock one. So we will put that on there. Tail lights on there. Um, engine cover I do not have. I need to. We'll get that eventually. Headlights. Grill. It's coming together looking like uh, John Wickmobile, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Um, rear window. Um, I don't think Mr. Wick had louvers on the back window. Um... But, oh my gosh, is that the only option? Oh, man. Back window. Window back. Window back. Okay, oof. That's a little... Okay, cool. Dang. I was starting to worry there for a second. Okay, so we're going to throw that in there. Yes. All right. Um, I don't think those look too, too bad on it. Let's go ahead and... Rid ourselves of all these parts. Yes, thank you. And let's get the front end going here. Looking mighty good, looking mighty good. So isn't it amazing that I have not seen the first movie and I've seen the second, the, the second and the third movie. Totally ridiculous, but hey. Speaking of Keanu Reeves, if you do not know, we are not talking. Do you remember Bill and Ted's Excellent Adventure, right? It was Bill and Ted's Excellent Adventure, then it was Bill and Ted's. Uh, what was the second movie? Uh, I don't remember it now. But there was a second movie of Bill and Ted, right? Well, guess what? They are pairing up. And they will be doing another Bill and Ted movie, and I can't wait to see that. I think I can't wait to see it. it you just, it's one of those things where you, you have a movie from your childhood, and they kind of reboot it, and you're like, yeah, that's going to be really cool. And then you watch it, and you're like, oh, this is so stupid. Why did I even waste money at a movie theater to even go watch it? But, uh, yeah. Bill and Ted, at it again. Can't wait to see see what that trailer is going to look like. I've seen a lot of good movie trailers coming out. So I'm, I'm really, you know, I can't wait to see, you know, what they have in store for John Wick 4. I mean, John Wick 3, if you've, if you've seen John Wick 3, you know, the, the, the mass majority of the characters in that movie, you know, knew of John Wick and what John Wick had done it either, you know, uh, had helped him out in some way or um, got him out of a jam or something and um, you know everyone that did that had to pay the price so hopefully that's not too much of a spoiler for you but uh, yeah um, something you have to see and you can tell me to tell me straight up if you think it was kind of weird the way you know it had it all played out let me know what you think I am really interested in what you have to say about it. Um, like I said, I, even though I have not seen the first one, um, I can only imagine. So let's see here. We get some brakes set up. Boom, 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 boom. And I think I only need one of those calipers. Maybe I needed a cylinder. I don't know. Um, no, cylinders I am good with. All right, for the suspension... Uh, typical stuff, it looks like. Uh, nothing out of the ordinary. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, bottom suspension arm and everything else is pretty much standard. So, bottom suspension arm. Gotta get ourselves some shocks built here. Uh, 
Um, sway bar B. Inner tie rods two. Outer tie rods two. Um, got the sway bar. Rubber bushing. We need 12 of these here. Gotcha. Steering rack. That, that, that. All right. So now that we have that, let's get the uh, let's get the springs all set up. And what were our front tires? Two twenty-five sixties. So those were two twenty-five sixties. All right. Um. So again, I'm going to go with a sixteen-inch rim, and I am going to go with a two twenty-five up front. And I'm going to go still with a 50 profile. So let's see what that looks like. Even though I'm a little narrower. And I'm hoping it'll look alright. You good? Watching some of the Facebook posts over on the console page. Now, we're talking a console page, right? Um, a couple guys over there saying it takes them an hour and a half to build a car from the junkyard. Now, really? Um, as you guys have seen, if you watch any of my videos, you know that it's about an hour. We put about an hour's worth of time into this. Uh, 40 minutes... 20 minutes to an hour. Um, I don't really do any type of prep work before I hit the record button. So, I mean, tonight I did because I was tinkering around with the engine over there. But typically I don't do any type of prep work. And I have on some videos in the past just to uh, reduce the time a little bit. I mean, an hour of video does take a little bit of time to upload. So, yeah, I mean... Cut me a little bit of slack there. So I do try to do uh, a little bit of prep work. Um, sometimes, uh, not all the time. Um, these past movie videos, movie car videos, I have not done much prep work at all. Um, except for this one right here. And that's only because I was kind of messing around with that engine. Um, and I was trying to get the feel because it's not many times I build a Ford engine. And I just wanted to get a good feel for it. On the lower end, um, the upper end is more difficult because of all the different pieces. Basically, the lower end was uh, pretty easy because it was basic standard overhead valve V8 stuff. So, um, that turned out okay. Yeah, that'll work. Um, did I get all of the bushings back here? Nope, I did not. Good catch. Thank you very much, people. All right. So, let's swing out over here. Go ahead and get these in. <laughs> First and foremost, before anything goes absolutely nuts on me. Tie rods, upper tire, upper suspension arm. So yeah, how long is your average reassemble or tear down? We're and we're talking junkyard car. From the junkyard, uh, complete tear down, complete rebuild. What's your best time? What's your slowest time? I mean, my slowest time is probably about an hour, hour five, hour ten maybe. And that's probably primarily if I'm working with like the V12 engine or the v, V10. Um, engines that I'm not really uh, familiar with. Yeah, I'm, it's going gonna, it's gonna to take me a little bit longer because I will be bouncing back and forth between the shops to try to figure that stuff out. But... Uh, yeah, I mean, hour and a half to build a car? And once you start getting the hang of some of this stuff, it gets it gets pretty easy, in, in my opinion. All right, uh, before I do anything underneath here, what is the... Uh, what are those Cs? Yeah, so we're just going to go ahead and throw the exhaust system underneath here while we're... While we have it up in the air. Um... 
we will be visiting this shop again shortly. Yeah, I might as well pick up the eight spark plugs while I'm here. Um, two of those, and two of those. I believe we will be taking distributor, distributor cap, and a rotor. I'm not entirely sure, but we'll take an ignition coil too. Um, need that. Need that. Where's that clutch assembly? Oh, I didn't need the other piece. What am I? Uh, I'm buying stuff just to buy stuff at this point. Okay, single carb. And... Um, I think I'm going to stick with the original alternator over there. Um, forgot what I was doing. I started doing stuff and uh, kind of lost track of what I was doing. Okay, so I need two of those. So I'm going to go ahead and fit the exhaust system up underneath here. Kind of crazy, but I've already got it in the air. Doing things a little different today. All right. Let's drop that down. We are going to take you. We're going to move you over to stall number two. Go ahead, put you all the way down. Pop the bonnet, as I hear all the time. Popping the bonnet. Our friends overseas, the bonnet. I may say hood, but they say bonnet. Oh, look at this. We have a inner cooler here. Ooh, I didn't know that was there. Guess what? I've got to put up back up on the... I'm good with that. I didn't know it was there, but... Um, I'm more happy to throw it back up on the... Okay, so that radiator didn't work. Bummer. That's all right. Uh... It appears that this is working better than it did before, so that's good. Radiator. Radiator C. Alright. Um, put the radiator back in. Battery back in. Brake servo back in. What was it I was needing? Oh dear god, what was I thinking? Um... Okay, let me think. Oh, I didn't need the, that flywheel. Don't need a lot of this stuff in here. Um, rid my rid my inventory of anything I don't need. There. Got rid of everything I don't need. I believe I've got everything set up there. Um, uh, global body condition's in pretty good shape. I don't have plates on it yet. Rear license plate or an engine cover. Um, don't have a steering wheel. Steering wheel is... Really? Alright, well. Oh, Johnny, you're going to love this car after I get done with it. All right, let's turn our attention to the main power plant here. Let's go. And uh, you know what? Um, I don't want to go with that distributor cap, but I do want to go with that ignition coil. Um, I will go with that power steering pump, but I'm not going to go... Um, Okay, so what I'm looking to do is to make, keep this looking as stuck on the outside as possible. So with the alternator, um, um, let's see which one of these I'm going to need. I, I'm going to need that one, and and that one for this engine build. Go ahead and get those while I'm in there. Um, Alternator, the I6B, we've got that, we've got that piece there. Um, overhead valve, camshaft. 
Mm, uh, oh, uh, clip bees. Need a couple of them clip bees. Oh, while well, I'm thinking about it, get the throw out bearing. Um, I don't believe there's a, an air filter in the performance shop for the Ford engines. Unfortunately, that's pretty sad. Um, really needs it. Get that cover. Now, I don't think I have these heads in the, sh in the performance shop either. Uh, I believe I just get two of those. The valve cover gaskets for this are the aluminum ones, I believe. Uh, this is a Ford aluminum. Wait a minute. Um, I should say Ford. No? Hmm. Guess I will figure it out. It's not that one. Um, wow. Uh -huh -huh. Guess I will figure that out a little bit later. Let's drive down here to... Oh, oh wait, wait a minute. Here we go. Here we go. That's J. That's I. That's I. Wait a minute. Really? I thought... Hmm. Okay. I really thought they were going to be these over here. That's kind of sad. I was hoping to get those. <sighs> oh, well. Can't have everything. Okay, so I'm going to go with the, the plain distributor cap and um, the plain uh, ignition wires. I believe those are the ignition wires, yeah. Okay, so we're going to slap this on. Making it look, you know, kind of stockish on the outside. I don't want it to look too blingy on the inside. I mean, come on. I6 alternator. Looks good, looks good. Uh, camshaft. Um, heads. See, all this stuff you can't even see so this is all like all performance upgrades and no one really sees it it's almost like that sleeper mode right somebody pops your top and everything looks stock underneath it but little they know it's all the internals that have been reworked that's what i'm going for right here um spark plug spark plug spark plug Um, and the wires, we're good to go there. So, overhead valve, okay. So, I believe, oh, come on, come on. Open up for me. Um, performance shop, we are going to go with the, um, a couple of these headers, because definitely got to go with those. And... Uh, power steering. Mm, power steering pump. I think that's about all we're going to get out of that. So let's go timing chain. Oh, here we go. Timing chain overhead valve. Timing chain cover. And God only knows what else. So... Um, again, not an engine that I build frequently, so hang in there. Go ahead and put that on there. Okay, so you know the crankshaft. Um, oh, so it, it takes just a normal water pump. That's cool. What? Oh, J? Really? Takes to J exhaust? What the hell? OK, 
Okay, so let's go back up here. Um, Jay's? Okay. Yeah. Wasted some money on that. That, that. that hurts. A lot of money on headers. That's right. I have plenty to throw away. You see the 81 million up there? Yeah. It's all good. But people with money don't waste money. So, you know. <laughs> I shouldn't be wasting the money here. Um, water pump and... Uh, Intake manifold. Let me just see if there is an intake manifold um, for this. Um, oh my god, there is. We are taking it. We are taking it. Uh, okay, so water pump. Um, <laughs> water pump pulley. Definitely going to need one of those. Yeah, baby. Performance intake. I'm liking that. I'll do that. And the carburetor. You don't really see the carburetor after you put the intake on it. So, you know, I'm good with that. Let's get the front of this finished up before things get too out of hand. What? Oh. Wrong one, huh? Water pump pulley. Go figure. Just when you think you thought you knew we were going, what was going on, and gives you the gives you the old switcherino. Okay, so belt. Oh, why does that? I'm just going too quick. I guess. So belt. We need. Um, Overhead valve V eight I There's J. Okay, so there's overhead valve I. Uh, overhead valve I. It's gotta be this one of these, right? Yep, there we go. Um fan, which fan would it be? Oh, let me take a look here. Ah, oh, probably that one. What do you think? Good guess? <laughs> Alright. Fan belt. Belt. Fan. Hey, good guess. Alright, so now I have to deal with the heads here. What am I dealing with here? Just push rods and rockers, it looks like. Okay. I'm good with that. So, so regular valve push rods. We need 16 of those, and um, rockers. I imagine 16 of those. Oh. I don't know if that, uh, I doubt it, but we'll see. Maybe I bought rocker arms for nothing, but we shall see as soon as I, let me line this up in this camera. Nope, takes a rocker arm, so we are good. We are golden. We did the right thing. We are good. Need like roller rockers, you know, upgrade these to roller rockers. That would be nice. Be able to paint the heads and stuff on this would be nice too. Painting the engine block would be super cool. Paint the engine block the same color as the car. Wouldn't that be nice? Okay. J oh, J valve covers. <gasps> you know what that means? Yes. Um, no, just cover maybe? Cover, 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 cover. Jay? No. Jay? 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 Jay! 
Oh, there's A. Oh, I am excited. Where is the other one at? Um, okay. Is that the other one? Yep, that's the other one. The way it was turned, it did not look the same. So, look at this, look at this. Oh, beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. This puppy is going to run so well when I get done with it. All right, let's. We're down to the narrow, the very end at this point. Mr. Wick will be satisfied. Now, if you've seen John Wick 2, right, he at the very beginning of the movie, he finds out where his car is. Um, he goes after getting his car back, and he gets his car back, but he destroys it trying to get it out of the out of the warehouse, and he, you know, kills everybody in sight. And, uh, you know, he takes it back to his place, and the uh, thing is barely running, and I guess he calls up a buddy of his that comes out and picks up the car, and... Uh, you know, Wick is like, you know, can you, can you fix it up? And he's like, um, huh, yeah, maybe. <laughs> I mean, it's in sad, sad shape. This car is in bad shape. Missing a door, you know, all beat up. Um, uh, just awful. What? What I don't, oh, it's the J. Really? See, I always, you know, it's, yeah, I, I, I don't know. Okay, so we'll go with that one, and then we'll go with, uh, okay. Where's the lower end of it? Okay. Really? Um, okay, so just air? I guess it's not just called a cover. Maybe it's a J air filter. Might as well grab that. I bought the I. Um, oh, J right there. Okay, so we will slap this to. Oh, come on. J? Yeah. Ooh. Don't have that piece. Okay, so that's different. Right. Why does that keep doing that? All right. And voila. This engine is ready to be mounted. Take it off the crate. Um, install it. Yes, please. All right, that is looking good. While we are sitting here, let's clean up the interior. Let's clean up the outside. Let's do all the nice things that we want to do to it. Make it look like a car again, shall we? Hey everyone, slight video uh, problems. Looked like I ran out of disk space, so. Got the car all together, put the transmission, you know, everything underneath, put the license plates on. We are going to uh, throw the paint job on it, which will be this one right, we'll get back here. That one right there. There we go. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. And I had to put it on the dyno. Uh, but I'll throw it back on the dyno just for giggles. Um, we were running 385 horsepower stock engine. Um, but with our dyno, um, 364, sorry. So with this, we are pushing 600. With this engine, with all the modif modifications in it, I'm pretty happy with it. <clears throat> Probably could have gotten close to 600 if I had put, in, if I had put the... Uh, distributor cap, ignition wires, um, probably a few other things that I may have been able to put on it. Not a whole lot, to be honest. Um, uh, maybe the alternator wires. Yeah, maybe. I mean, I could have probably gotten 600 out of it, but uh, hey, I'm good with it right now as it is. 
So there you have it, John Wick Machine. You know, and I was don't know if I caught it in the last video, but uh, you know the the place his place where the assassins were could rest up was called the I think it was called the Intercontinental or the Continental. Um, kind of fitting with that car right there. So we've got the license plates on it. We have got the John Wick machine all lined up. Well, that is going to be it for today's video. I want to thank you all very much for joining me on this build. I apologize for the slight your, uh, editing error there because of uh, I ran out of disk space and it just quit recording on me. So not a good thing. But uh, Oh, I will show you this. We will go into photo mode. And um, I did tease this on Facebook, but uh, right there, Boss429. I had to put that in there. Um, yeah. So, awesome looking machine. Awesome job by uh, Dead Bob 777 um, Just absolutely beautiful. Uh, so, nothing more to say. Thanks for watching. This is Hers Quasar. I'm out.